There's some good horses up front, and there's some good quality closers. It's the Phasic Tipton and Fountain of Youth. They're off, and the Phasic Tipton Fountain of Youth stakes. Emmanuel was off in traffic and then was shuffled back a touch. Good start at the inside for Mark Hamian, and he's put right on the early lead. Fellow long shot Dean delivers, moves to him in second, and AP Secret is a joint third. In due time, gets great position for Paco, third at the rail, followed by simplification. He was off in traffic again today. High Oak is three wide. Howling time works between horses, and Emmanuel, the favorite, is four wide, racing ahead of Rattle and Roll and Galt, and O Captain is at the back. 23 and 4 for the opening quarter as they race into the backstretch. Marcos Manessis and long shot Mark Hamian on top by a length and a quarter. Dean delivers his second. High Oak is four wide. AP Secret is three wide. Five wide for Emmanuel. Certainly not optimum there. Saving ground inside is in due time. At the rail, rattle and roll has good position if good enough. A length better than howling time. Out the back are Galt and O Captain. The entire field separated by seven lengths in the run past the half mile point. 48 and 1 for a Half mile speed on the far outside. Saez is on the go now. Emmanuel has to give up a ton of ground. He's challenging for the lead. Dean delivers, puts the neck in front. Mark Hamian is next. AP Secret, High Oak. Now Simplification given a run. Simplification's even wider than Emmanuel. Looking for room is in due time as they run to the top of the stretch. Emmanuel now takes a narrow lead. Fighting on. Dean delivers in due time. Oh, that was High Oak who clipped heels. High Oak clipped heels and unseated Galt with him as Simplification sweeps up out wide. Simplification is now taking the lead in the Fountain of Youth. Dean delivers his so game. He's trying to hold on for second down the center in due time. Emmanuel between. Simplification for Antonio Sano win the Fountain of Youth. Second was in due time. Up third at a huge price with Zoe Captain. There's a stewards inquiry looking at the run to the top of the stretch. We have two riders unseated. Jockey Junior Alvarado is sitting up. And it appears that both horses are up and okay. So you heard from Pete Aiello there an update on the nine High Oak and Junior Alvarado and the 13 Galt and Joel Rosario, both jockeys unseated from their mounts. Unofficially, as we're taking a look at simplification, your winner of the phasing tipped in Fountain of Youth Stakes, but obviously a lot to unpack here and some concern for horses and riders. Yeah, I hope these riders are all right. Uh, apparently, it sounds like uh, one of them set up. Uh, look, look, simplification hats off to him. Again, he didn't get away. He didn't get away bad, but he got shuffled back in the first turn. He was rank early he was wide on the second turn yet still had a great closing kick to hold off uh, number four in due time who had a perfect trip up until that that uh, incident uh, at the top of the stretch he had to angle out really quickly but he came running hard uh, oh. Emmanuel had a, a brutal trip. Oh, Eddie. Emmanuel had a horrific trip. Wide on both turns and still was uh, was fighting, trading punches at the quarter pole. Outside of all the trouble, uh, held in there well. But simplification, I mean, you you couldn't have given me a nickel for his chances halfway down the backstretch when he was rank with Jose Ortiz. Ortiz was trying to get him to settle. Once again, he comes down on his wrong running lead. You see he's leading with his left lead leg. That's not what horses are trained to do. It's what he did in the Holy Bull as well. But he's just drawing off from the field. Very impressive performance by a horse that overcame trouble last time and overcame a not, not ideal trip here. It, it seems like the further the better for him because he's gotten kind of used to settling back behind horses and still making that run. If he can settle a little bit and relax a little bit more, then he can be even better. Now, we heard Pete say that it looked like High Oak and Galt were okay. Fingers crossed that the horses as well as the riders are okay.